there we go. Now Jeffrey's on it for the show. I'm excited to see if we blow up this car or not. All right, guys. Here it is. Tommy's about to try and fire up his car. This is one month before Night of Destruction. Cross your fingers. Ready? Yep. Oh. <laughs> hey, all the leaky water is going away. <laughs> Transmission. That's transmission fluid. Oh, is it coming from those hoses? <laughs> I think you I think you just killed a bird. <laughs> I think your transmission hookup needs some work. Okay. <laughs> hey! It started up! It did! I'm just imagining you starting it up and pulling it to the back straight away with transmission fluid just going everywhere. Is there a cat in the fan blade or something? Oh, dude, it was it was spewing. <laughs> Look at your dashboard. <laughs> but the good news is it started up. I just love how I just saw a bunch of water and then you're like, shut it off. Well, all of a sudden I'm like, that water is not very watercolor. I just thought it was all that water that I dropped all over the fan. You think you got it? Yeah, let's see. All right, here, take two. I'm expecting to get drenched right now. Radiator fluid just oh, came. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> how much your car shifts when you shift. I mean, that, that looked good. It wasn't smoking. I don't think I see it leaking anywhere. It wasn't smoking as it's smoking. This car is essentially ready to go. I only put five gallons of water in my carburetor. Look at that. All in the, <laughs> look at all on top of the air cleaner there. Yeah, now why is that bad? So I, some people might wonder why water in the uh, engine is water bad. Water and air and fuel don't mix together. It'll, it'll immediately clog up the carburetor and shut the car off immediately i said immediately twice uh that goes to show what color water turns clear through a motor it's brown oh this old, i, think, this that, old I junk. think that motor had some dirt in it uh, uh but luckily though the way the way that an air cleaner works on these models is you drive through a lake and you'll be fine <laughs> I, got, I made soup <laughs> you did look at the color of this water it is just Are beautiful you I found gold. Look at <laughs> Found gold, He's folks. Her. My car runs. It spits a little water. Nothing that we all don't do. Now we're going to try to get Jeffrey's car attempted to start. His car, after that race, just did not want to start. We'll play with it. We'll see if it even works. If not, we know monster truck drivers, so they can fix it. We still use keys in our cars, even though the professionals use switches and buttons. Or just just twist so, the wire together what are we expecting we're expecting well i don't know what to expect actually what are you expecting well you said that you tried to start this car and it just cranked and cranked and cranked but didn't have any spark or fuel cross your fingers right date <laughs> Yes. Why? Did you pump any gas? No, a little. Okay. But not enough. It could be, I think it's spark. You're not getting any spark. So, like when you were missing the distributor cap? Yeah, but I can see the distributor cap. 
I'm gonna take off the air cleaner, spray some starter fluid in there, All right. and just see what it does. All right. And if it doesn't start from there, definite spark issue. Okay. This car, man. It's a pain in our butt. All right, what do we see missing, Tommy? Okay, just like before the distributor cap on my car in the early episodes of the Low Budgets, there seems everything to be right. It was sparking, or it wasn't sparking, but it was cranking over. You can smell the fuel. But then we found the issue. Yeah, Tommy. The distributor cap is there, but the wire to go to the coil is not. And that's a very important piece. It's right there. When you're trying to get where sparked. Where it should be, it looks just like the rest. Yep, here's the missing piece. And here's where it's supposed to go. But we think it goes to there, and it's missing. One thing is missing out of nine. <laughs> now, we just pulled it off of the station wagon that you've seen before so we're gonna plug it up and give her a try and see what we can do damage right here now maybe it's something we don't know i'd imagine that's so so something's wrong with this car camera I'm gonna show you something. We found the issue. Here's the issue. Something got hit, and it was the distributor. the distributor. This should not be cracked, and it is. Here's the extra piece of it. This metal piece here needs to be I'm getting it. See those metal pieces? Well, that's where it needs to be touching. It's not. Broken. Done blowed up. So Jeffrey, when he hit the boat, it broke the insides <laughs> of the distributor. That's right. So Jeffrey done good? Too good. So another trip to the auto parts store is needed. And that'll be one of many here on the low budgets. We have crossed the threshold into September 26, 2013, which means Tommy Mason. Yeah. In one month, it is night of destruction. That's right, folks. It's going to get wild from here. The thrashing is going to keep on pace, even go faster pace, because we got one month till the day of destruction. And that day, everything absolutely has to be ready. No time to work on stuff at that day. It's gonna be jam-packed from here on, from today on, every time you see us in front of those cameras, we're gonna be working like crazy. So, enjoy the ride. We're gonna have some headaches. We're gonna be bleeding. We're gonna be cussing. We're gonna be crying. And it's all gonna be to get these cars ready to put on the show for the greatest fans on earth right here at Ernest Speedway.